Hi, welcome back. It's Jez here from myjezza.blogspot.com and today we're going to make this little triangular wedge type gift box which is got no glue, no glue to, to, to make this. Um, so it's a nice little gift box that you just open up a little bow and it folds open like this and you can fit quite a bit in there and then when you've put your goodies in there you just close it up and tie a bow. You could even make them out of Christmas paper which was a thought I had. I might do it later and they could hang on the Christmas tree if you made it Christmassy. So I'm going to show you how I made it. Um, I made this using the petal garden paper. So this is done in rich raspberry. So I'm going to do one now that's uh, Calypso coral. So you need a piece that is six inches by four inches. So the paper comes in six by six. So you get um, a two inch strip left over for something else. And if you were using different paper that was 12 by 12, you could get six of these boxes, six, out of a 12 by 12 sheet so um, quite a nice way of making um, little favour boxes and really quick as I will now demonstrate. So what you need to do um, is do a little notch to mark the centre so two inches and then on the long side three inches again on the short side two inches and then again on the long side three inches and actually we may as well go and score all the way down the three inch mark so we will want to do that for later and it's just dawned to me it's easier to do it now so you're then going to move my board up a bit so you can actually see so I have drawn a line down here so I can see it easy um, so you take your notch for your two inch and your notch here for your three inch put it along a line and score do the same on the other side so my two inch notch down here and my three inch up there you can do this on a scoreboard I did do it on a scoreboard actually um, and decided that this was easier either will work just so long as on the and I, I said scoreboard didn't I I meant your trimmer the only thing you remember on the trimmer is to use your score blade not your trimming blade which is why I'm not using it on camera because I would make that mistake so if you can see there you've got like a diamond and that's that so then it's just a matter of folding and burnishing these lines and then the one down the middle and then it's going to close like that. Now you can use our handheld um, old punch I don't have one but I've got a cropper dial um, if you haven't got one you can use um, a pokey tool just to poke a hole in so whilst it's together I'm just gonna chomp a hole in there and then do the same on the other side holding those back give in there I'm just eyeballing it really in the center make a hole and then I'm going to get a bit of our lovely coordinating ribbon that comes with this suite uh, so I'm using Calypso Coral for this one I used Rich Raspberry on the other one and just poke it through those two holes there Through the next one, through the next. 
as well. There we go. And then you just, you would now put in there whatever you're going to put in there, a little bit of dish tissue, um, uh, jewellery wrapped in tissue, some sweets, um, whatever it was you were going to put in there. I say these could be little table favours um, or a nice little gift. Pull it tight, tie a bow. Like so. Tie a bow like so. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. There we go. Pretty little bow. And then just snip that to look pretty. And then just to decorate the top, um, taking a little bit of uh, Whisper White and I'm using the Painted Harvest. Um, the lovely stamp set in the Autumn Winter Catalogue and I'm going to do the flower and I'm gonna so they're already mounted I'm using Calypso Coral um, ink and I'm going to stamp it twice so ink it up And it is supposed to be a washed out sort of look. So that is perfectly fine. And I take the other one and match in my little sort of half circle bit there with the half circle bit there, which is quite difficult when you're on camera because you can't actually get your head completely over. There we go. Not actually done this in clips of coral before. This is a fast. There we go. And then for the centre, I am going to um, use clips of coral. But I'm going to use second generation actually. Stick it in because this is actually going to get covered. There we go, and then I'm just going to do a little sentiment. I'm going to use the little um, For You from Tabs for Everything. I really like that. We've got a nice little circle there and the little For You just to put in the centre of the flower. So I've got the little circle. And then I'm going to take that off. Stick me For You on. I find it easier to do the circle and then the for you rather than the other way around because if I do it the other way around I find they don't work. Now I'm not going to close that up for now because what I'm doing with this flower is I'm using the daisy punch um, so I'm going to cut it out with the daisy punch to make my daisy. So. which is why I've done two. And then just a three quarter of an inch punch to punch out that circle. And I don't have a stamping up three quarter inch punch. I have a different one and I don't see the point in buying a new one when I got one that works. So there we go. And the reason why I haven't put my ink away is I'm just going to ink. Oh, I'm just going to manage to miss the end there. I don't think it matters. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the end. So they're not completely white at the end. Yep. That's all the inking done, so now I'm just going to curl them up. So I'm going to get a little stamp mat and 
she says. I thought it was ready, but it was at the bottom. So, curl them up. I just have them coming forward. Stroke them down. Curl up like a spider that you've washed down the sink. There we go, do both of those. And then I take my bone folder and then I'm just going to curl back the ends and it kind of gives it a really nice 3D effect on the flower. It's the way I like to do it. So it sort of stands up a little bit. There we go. A little bit of Tombow on the middle. so that they overlap to give you a nice full flower and then I'm going to put a bit of dimension on I'm going to put one on the back of the centre stick that in the middle of my flower get my box back on do it so that the that bit's at the bottom another dimensional on the back and then stick that in the middle and that's it so that has a very quick very pretty little box the only glue involved was the the flower and uh, I think that looks really nice so hope you like it hope you try it um all the measurements and everything as usual will be over on my blog at nigeza.blogspot.com thanks for joining me today goodbye